These slip cases make fantastic gifts. Essentially what you've got to see is you've got your gift box inside its own little case. Now I know myself, I make loads of homemade jams, marmalades, chutneys, and this is a great way to make a very inexpensive or simple gift look really special. Now it's made in two parts. We're gonna make the inner part first, then we're gonna learn how to make the slip case. And then if you can see what I've done extra here, it's completely up to you because people tend to lift these up. To stop it lifting up, I've just done a, a little wrap there as well. So if I pop that to one side, starting off making the inner section, which is the most complicated one, so you need to pay attention for this one. I've got my sheet of card, which is cut to 11 and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. Now I'm gonna start by scoring the shorter edge. So what you need to make sure is, as you're looking at it, sit it on your board, it shouldn't go past the end of your board. Really important this, because if you look the other way, it's running off the board, right? That's your 12 and a half inches. We're scoring first of all on the 11 and a half inch side, right? So I want you to score three quarters of an inch, first of all, and then four inches. So four inches all the way down. Turn it right around, do the same again. So we're gonna go three quarters of an inch, and then four inches. So that was on box lid. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it round, push the board up a little bit, and we're going to start and use the box base score lines, okay? But we're actually only going to use the box base measurement for the first one. It'll become clear as I explain it. Right, first thing we're going to do from box base is you're going to come to three and a quarter inches. So three and a quarter, and you score all the way up, okay? Then you're going to come along to seven and a quarter, so three, four, five, six, seven and a quarter, and we're going to score the outer part only. So what you're going to do is you're going to score up to that first score line, miss out the centre, and then score from the first score line back out to the edge again. Okay? So that was at seven and a quarter. Then we're going to go to eight and a quarter. This time, we're not going to score until we get to the centre. So can you see, I was very gentle at first, just following the measurement up until we got to the centre. Then I'm going to come to nine and a quarter, and I'm going to score right the way up again. Okay, and remember all these measurements are on the CD-ROM if you want to print out the PDF and follow along at the same time. Now, it's all the scoring done. So I put my board to one side. What we want to do first of all, okay, is we're going to cut away and just leave these end panels because this is where we're going to be doing our um this is going to fold in last you'll see right so i'm just cutting all the way up till we get to this score line here cutting off a little v and then doing the same here cutting down the v and cutting off the end Okay, so do the same on the other side, down here, cut it off as a little V, and from the end, and then put it all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so that's the first cutting piece, right? Next, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out this entire panel here on both sides, right? So coming in. And some people find it a lot easier to cut with a cutting knife. Uh, just because I'm using scissors doesn't mean you have to. You cut with whatever's comfortable for you. Um, I just always find scissors that little bit easier. Sarah's scissor hands, they call me in the office. Um, so then we'll cut them two panels out. Okay, and then what we're going to do, last but by no means least, is cut up this one here. I'll cut a small V-shaped notch out. Okay, same here, cutting it up and cutting out a small V-shaped notch. Then you need to fold and burnish all of your crease marks. One side. And, then the other. and it'll start, hopefully, appearing a little bit more obvious as to what it is. 
um, from where all the fold lines are going to come in. Right, if you can see, here we go, hopefully this will be a little bit more obvious. This is your top panel section. Can you see? So this is how it's all going to fold in. So we're going to put the sides in and then we're going to wrap this right around and then tuck that in just there in the side. So that's going to what's going to give us the strength on the sides here. Now, I'm just going to do this quite quickly. Uh, I'm going to use the tape pen just for speed, but obviously if you're at home, uh, a wet glue would work equally as well. So gluing that first panel down. And then I'm going to put plenty of glue on these two. these two in place first of all. Now it would be a lot stronger if I was to use something like our tacky glue at this point. Um, so if you're taking your time I would definitely recommend that. So this comes up and then this wraps over to give it the strength. So up and over. It's like I've said with a lot of these projects, it's all about building strength and integrity into the construction. Because when they're larger projects, even though this is larger card, unless you're working with a mount board, you're still not going to have masses of strength. Right. Pleased to hear that's the complicated part out of the way. So I'll put that to one side. What I'm going to do now is create the inner slip case. So starting with the sheet of cardstock here, which is, um, this is still the same size as your A3 in width, but I've cut it to just four inches tall because you can see here, that is the height of our box here. So bringing the car this back in, I'm going to score this time against box lid, right? And we're going to score at three and three eighths of an inch. Okay, one, two, three. So it's just one before three and a half. And just to make life easier, I'm going to fold, burnish, pop it on again. Three and three eighths. Two, three and three eighths. See you've got that little bit left over which becomes your gluing flap at the back so you can see there that makes our slip case now what I've done on this one is on that very central piece I've just die cut an oval and it doesn't have to be an oval any of your die cuts would work lovely or obviously cut it freehand if you don't have a die cutting machine but if you cut out a little window and I've just glued in some acetate ready and then it's this shorter panel here which is going to go on the inside. So again, plenty of tape. And that will just all line up beautifully. And that is what goes around your inner piece. Okay? Then, I mean, it feels quite sturdy here. By the time you do add like a jam jar or something into it, the worry is that people will lift this and it will lift up. So if you see what I did with the finished one I've made, literally just wrapped a piece of cardstock right around it to stop this happening, okay? And then that's just been secured at the top with a piece of Velcro. Like I said, very simple project to make. It's just the construction of the inner piece that takes a little bit of practice. I would definitely recommend having a go with a piece of scrap card first of all, like I did here, and perfect it off before you start working with some of your, your coloured cardstock. Mm -hmm.